Hello all you nice people on the internet. I just wanted to make an uh, update video on my flight simulator build. I haven't been doing a whole lot. I was sick for like three weeks. So yeah, but what I've done is this is my control yoke. It's all 3D printed. It's made in two parts or actually four parts. There's a joint in the middle. So it's one, two, three and four. There's four parts to it. It's all 3D printed. Um, I could have made it in two parts, but so it's just the front and the back, but my printer isn't that big. So I had to cut it in two. There is six uh, push buttons, which I can put assignments to, and two rocker switches, which I will probably use for trimming. Um, I've covered the plastic with um, that filler you used for on cars for dents I uh, don't know what everybody else calls it but here in South Africa we call it body filler um, just to make the layer lines smooth uh, if you're interested in the STL files for this yoke um, leave me a comment and I will post a link where you can download the files the yokes the two the two yokes are connected to each other I don't know if you can see it but if I rotate this one the shaft on the other side also rotates and let me show you the mechanism I'm still busy with the mechanism but this is how it works there's a cable running between the two as you can see on two pulleys I've turned these pulleys myself out of aluminium so they're connected with a cable and eventually there will be a clamp that goes over here to secure the cable so that, that so that it doesn't slip so that's for the aileron movement and they are also connected uh, for the elevated movement on this uh, I don't know if you can see that linear rail so they will be able to move forward and backwards it's still scraping a little bit because it isn't fixed it's just resting on this piece of wood so yes so it will be able to move in and out um, like this so the rudder pedals the rudder pedals are go flight rudder pedals which are mounted in the floor and then my dad has a CNC plasma cutter, so I cut cut out this three millimeter uh, steel plate just to cover the top of the rudder pedals um, to make it look nicer. So the rudder pedals are attached from underneath the floor, and then the plate just covers it. They do work. Here's the brakes. I don't know if I will be able to pull them because go flight rudder pedals are the spring is quite strong but yeah I think you can see that they do move for the other side I've marked out the place for another set of rudder pedals but I don't know if I will be using the same rudder pedals another set of go flight pedals because they are quite expensive so I am thinking about building my own rudder pedals. Um, I've opened up the the Go Flight ones, and the way they work is quite simple. They just they move. They, sorry, there's a truck in the road that's making a lot of noise. Anyway, they work. They move on drawer slides. The ones with the ball bearings inside. Uh, they actually use four of those drawer slides next to each other than and they just have a, a little linkage across of the two slides to make them uh, move like in sync when one moves forward the other one moves backwards so I'll, I th I'm thinking of copying that that mechanism and my, building my own rudder pedals for that side and then I'll just have a 
a kind of linkage at the back to join the two sets of rudder paddles so that they move like like the yoke so when you press the one the other one on the other side also uh, moves the only other thing I made is this middle part where all the trimmers are located you have your elevator trim forwards and backwards with your aileron trim and here you have your rudder trim and these things aren't fixed at the moment they are just loose because I still have to do the wiring um, they are also 3d printed all of these parts are 3d printed the trim wheels are 3d printed these covers are 3d printed so yeah and there's a little uh, encoder rotary encoder the encoder comes from this go flight um, I can't remember what you call it, but it's the, the one with the, with the gear, uh, gear lever, gear and flaps and trim. So I've taken the encoders out from there and I uh, moved them, I placed them inside these trim wheels. Uh, here is going to be the fuel selector, on, off and um, cross feed. Here is the instructor station. I also can't remember if this was in the previous video, but there it is. It's just a table with a shelf. There will be eventually a computer for the instructor. So you know, that this thing will eventually be attached to the simulator uh, on the back. So yes, that's about it for this video. I will try to make an update video in a couple of weeks time again and as always I will put a couple of photos at the end of the video. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video.